In another episode of Peaceful Ramadan, on Tuesday in Uttar Pradesh in India, two Muslim brothers, Sajid and Javid, visited their neighbor Vinod. And after borrowing money from Vinod's wife, Sajid went on to attack Vinod's three children, slitting the throat of two, ages 6 and 11. And while getting arrested, Sajid shot at the cops, leading to him getting killed while his brother is still on the run. Now, I originally was hesitant to credit this to the religion of peace, but the style of the killing, the month, the people involved, and most importantly, the 30,000 Muslims that attended Sajid's burial are forcing me to believe that this is another peace full execution of two kafas now listen to the words mr lai used he said i was originally hesitant to credit this to the religion of peace but the style of execution the killing the month the people involved and most importantly the 30,000 muslims that attended sajid's burial are forcing me to believe that this is another peaceful execution of two kafas that's what he called it two kafas meaning non-muslims Hmm. Let's not be emotional here. Rather, let's take these points one after the other. The Muslims have a style of killing peculiar to them. No. If he meant beheading or slitting, then Mr. Lai is ignorant of history. Has he forgotten so soon what the Christians or Crusaders did to Muslims on 20th of August 1191 when King Richard I had more than 2,000 Muslim prisoners of war beheaded in front of the Ayyubid armies of Sultan Saladin. So is this also a style of killing by the Christians? You see, your hypocrisy, Mr. Lai, is unmatched. Secondly, Mr. Lai said the month. In other words, actions like this in the month of Ramadan is glorified in Islam. For those who don't know, as Muslims, the month of Ramadan is sacred to us. And we have been instructed to abstain from engaging in anything that would lead to a fight. Much more anything that would make us on a life somewhere. Subhanallah. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said, The Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, If any one of you is observing a fast, let him not utter obscene talk or raise his voice in anger. And if anyone insults him or wants to fight him, let him see, I am a person who is fasting. Thirdly, Mr. Lai said, the people involved. In other words, if the people involved are Muslims, what excuse can they possibly have other than the Quran ordered us to do that? For the records, nowhere are the Muslims instructed or commanded in the Quran to honor live innocent lives. But we would find in the Quran where it says, because of that, we decreed upon the children of Israel that whoever kills a soul, unless for a soul, unless for a soul of a corruption done in the land, it is as if he has slain mankind entirely. In other words, the Muslims should learn from the command given to the children of Israel and not cross the line set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the children of Israel did by neglecting the command of Allah. It is even worse when the victims involved are little kids. Islam frowns at the killing of women, children, and even the elderly in times of war, much more in peaceful times. Again, how is this Islamic? If there's any book that literally command or instructs the people to an alive children and in fact infants, it is the Bible your own book mr lai lastly mr lai said over thirty thousand muslims attended sajid's burial <laughs> that that's ridiculous in, in other words muslim supports his actions this is why they gave him their last respect in their thousands well it is true that a lot of muslims attended his burial but where did you get thirty thousand from even the screenshot you shared never made mention of 30,000. At the end of the day, this only gets to show how narrow-minded Mr. Lai is. Because a large crowd attended his burial doesn't necessarily mean they support his actions. Have you ever thought, what if they came because they felt Sajid was wrongly accused and he was indeed innocent of the claim? And perhaps he was in the right place at the wrong time. And these brothers and sisters we would see in the screenshot Mr. Lai shared. I wonder how he missed it. When we go a little down, we will find where it says, While the nation is still grappling with the shock of the gruesome murder of two Hindu children in Uttar Pradesh, Badawan district, the villagers of the slain accused Sajid have said that they are not sure if Sajid or someone else killed Ayush and Ahan. And when we go a little further, we would see, when speaking with a Muslim man from Sakhanu, he expressed ambiguity, questioning whether Sajid had murdered the Hindu children or someone else had done it. And what's interesting here is this. 
After six good days of the said crime, the father of the murdered victims attempted self-immolation, meaning he tried to kill himself. He tried to commit suicide, alleging that the police are hiding something. And this is six days after the said incident. This happened on the 24th of March, and it is the last update I have seen so far regarding this issue. The question now is, why would a Hindu police hide something if truly Sajid was the killer? Could it be that someone, maybe another Hindu, perpetrated the crime? And since they have accused and killed an innocent Muslim, how can they possibly face the world? You see, in any case, we have been able to prove that even if Sajid actually committed the crime, Islam is completely free from his actions. And Mr. Lai here remains an Islamophobe and a bloody liar. Please like, share and comment on this video. It will help the algorithm to get it to more people. Wa dhe jai shi'a assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So catch you in the next one.